Hey YouTube, so this is the other guy coming to you today. So in today's episode, I am doing a review on Harbor Freight Tools, what to buy and what not to buy. So this right here, it's about 14 bucks. It's uh, made in China. It says Gerson here. I don't know why, but this thing is, um, it's a Harbor Freight Tool uh, mask. It's good for those who likes to grind metal uh, or weld. This thing really uh, filters a lot of bad stuff from the air, better than breathing through your nostril. Uh, it works really well uh, at filtering stuff. But would I recommend this? I'd say no. The reason is because you see this little thing with jig right here. It's so cheap. I used this once and that was it. This thing right here fell apart and so I had to tie a knot here in order to get it uh, to work. So you know if you could find something that's a little bit more expensive and something that you can use for over a long period of time I'd say buy that. I'm gonna go to Home Depot or Lowe's and look for a mask like this. I like this mask but the problem is this uh, neck um, band right here broke up uh, broke and so now it's a one-time use so that's that i wouldn't recommend you buying that at harbor freight tools save that 14 bucks go buy something more expensive so that's that uh this hammer right here it's a three pound hammer you've seen me use uh on my videos uh loosening ball joints and doing heavy pounding with it okay um, it's really nice but the problem is is that this part right here cracks that there's I think what they did was they poured uh, epoxy glue into here to prevent the uh, the hammerhead here from uh, loosening and so basically what I did oh well after many use this the epoxy here broke loose and the hammer flies off when you uh, <laughs> hammer it and it's pretty dangerous so would I recommend you buying this item right here no unless you hardly uh, use it for heavy-duty stuff I wouldn't recommend it right here I have just poured new epoxy into here so hopefully it'll stay but it's dangerous okay once this epoxy breaks loose you never know when the head is gonna fly so would I recommend this for you guys don't buy it okay it's junk so so then here comes the seven and a half inch grinder okay this is what I use to build the uh, off-road bumper that I built a couple days ago and I, I really like this unit okay don't get me wrong however if you're gonna buy this buy the two-year plan with it the reason is because for some reason this thing although it says heavy duty and it's really powerful it it fries itself when you're grinding it and uh, it doesn't last very long okay if you're gonna buy this without the plan the warranty plan don't buy it I mean if you if you grind as much as I do right uh, don't buy it buy something more expensive uh, the reason why I, I decided to go with this plan is because Hubbard Freight Tools is just down the street from me. So that's why I decided to buy this uh, bad boy here. Uh, it's so that uh, it's close by me and I bought a one year plan for this one. Okay, I bought a one year plan for this one. Uh, let see, shortcomings. This doesn't handle heat a lot uh, very well. Once it once you uh, once it's hot, uh, what I discovered is that I let this thing rest until it gets cool again, and that's uh, how I prevent the uh, overheating. Uh, once it's overheated, and if you keep using it, you'll start seeing smoke coming through out from here, from here, and everywhere, and you can fry this thing really easily. Okay. So this is my third unit that I replaced with, with the warranty. It's good for a whole year. 
it's 42 bucks okay and that's why you know I figure it's a no-nonsense warranty if it dies I'll just go get a new one uh, my experience has been that it's a no questions asked warranty I just say warranty exchange they just give me a new one so that's what I discovered about this one right here always grind with the uh, cover here because you never know if this wheel here is gonna go like that and uh, hit you in the eye so this thing is really powerful but my suggestion is if you're gonna use it uh, don't let it overheat and it'll last you a long time don't abuse it like me okay what I don't like about this unit is that this button right here this is a locking button so I can um, you know, change the wheel here here's the arbor right here it needs a arbor chuck a chuck if that's what it's called to loosen the thing right here and sometimes when you're really working really hard with this uh, this thing doesn't engage and you have to press it really extra extra hard for it to engage so right now it's engaged but maybe because this is a new model uh, a newer one and so this thing is not that hard to engage with your finger uh, other times I have to uh, use my thumb like that to really press in and uh, yeah that's that and last but not least this little majigger right here again I recommend a two-year plan on these it's only nine bucks uh, on these items right here for the two-year plan and it's a no questions asked no nonsense uh, warranty uh, thing uh, basically all you need to do is just uh, replace this you know just take it in and say hey warranty exchange they'll exchange it for you it was like ten bucks um, if you look at here all my tools up there are Harbor Freight so if you're buying any electrical stuff like a drill or like a grinder like me okay my my suggestion is buy it with a warranty so that if it dies um, you can exchange it now I realize they're pretty cheap right and and a lot of time you get what you pay for and so nine dollars more for the warranty will save you a lot of headache having to fork out extra money for another unit so that's that's my experience okay so yeah um so that's my review oh another thing <laughs> this face shield it's not expensive but it pays for itself i love the way this face shield uh protects my eyes okay uh, it protects my whole front here and so now I realize that this thing right here scratch really really easily okay but for what it for what it's worth uh, when you're grinding this thing really really protects your eyes and uh, yeah so if if you want to buy these I'd say buy a couple of these at a time um, what it is is that this thing does not work well with brake cleaner. Spray brake cleaner into this uh, uh, shield right here, and it'll start to crack, and and then it cracks like little uh, chips. So it doesn't work well with brake cleaner or carburetor uh, cleaner. So that's that, guys. Uh, that mask, don't buy it. Save your money. Go buy another more high quality at a local Home Depot or Lowe's, and. Uh, that's it. I hope this is a useful video for you. Alright?